Tana Koto Kato, Namahi Nui Kiyakoto. I'm so sorry I can't be in Auckland with all of you today for the launch of this very important research by Julie Douglas and Catherine Ravenswood. The 2017 Care and Support Workers Settlement was truly a landmark decision that affirmed the principle of pay equity that just because work is so-called woman's work isn't a reason for workers to be underpaid. And that settlement isn't the end of the story. This research lays out the next steps for ensuring that people in historically female-dominated industries uh, can and should achieve the pay that they deserve for their work. As the interview participants in this research said, there have been some challenges in implementing the Care and Support Workers Act. Uh, but there was unanimous support for higher wages for all of those working in this industry. On Suffrage Day last year, the government introduced the Equal Pay Amendment Bill uh, to help clarify the process and ensure that pay equity is accessible uh, to all of those women who may need it. This bill is currently at the Select Committee stage, and I know many of you have made submissions, and I'd like to thank you for sharing your expertise on this very important issue. As the bill progresses, I will be keeping in mind all of those submissions that have been made to the Select Committee, as well as the findings and recommendations from this research. It's an absolute priority to me that we get it right and that we ensure that women and indeed all people who've been underpaid because of historical gender discrimination in their occupation are able to access the pay that they deserve. Finally, I'd like to thank all of those who participated in this research. Your views and voices are incredibly important to improving our work on pay equity, which is how we're going to help close the gender pay gap.